Chapter 35 Fragment of a Letter to Edson White Chicago, Illinois, circa April 7, 1889 If I can possibly get off from the appointment to the Scandinavians, I will do it and return home and see what you are all about. I shall be glad to have number 33 out, for the people need it. I am up riding at three o'clock in the morning. There are many questions to be considered and settled. It is understood that you are going to Kansas meeting. I cannot lay out the matter clearly in my mind. Have had some thoughts like this about Iowa. Morrison and Nicola have run the conference until there is but little life and soul in it. Now whether Elder Jones and I ought not to attend that conference and bring to the poor sheep and lambs food is the question. I never saw the condition of things as since coming here. The people seemed to be in a maze. They could not seem to get hold of the subjects presented until last Thursday. Then there was a break. And since that time the meetings have increased steadily in interest, and the people have been greatly benefited. Brother Kilgore is a free man. He no longer sees men as trees walking. His trumpet will give a certain sound. He is a converted man. Brother Tate is another who has been greatly blessed, and will give the trumpet a certain sound. Brother Ballinger has been in great distress of mind, but he is now free and has a new conversion. It does my soul good to see these old men and young men drinking in of the Spirit of God and planting their feet on solid rock. I have so desired that Frank and yourself would share in the benefits of this meeting, for if you both act a part in the work of God, then you both need to be supplied with divine grace, that your works shall be wrought in God. I see the great need of less of self and more, a great deal more, of Jesus, and young and old have been getting hold from above and becoming acquainted with faith and the righteousness of Christ. Well, I must write no more now. We want the testimony out as soon as possible. I shall not wait here, I think, any longer, although they want me to do so. As far as any one to consult with is concerned, I am alone. I scarcely see Fanny, only in meeting and a few moments in evening. I do not know what she is doing except to attend the meetings, which I am confident means to her very much. I shall not have her travel with me. This Kansas meeting is somehow to me unexplainable. I cannot understand it, that four weeks' work should be put in in one place, and then other places where my testimony is much needed be passed by. I have been really worried over this matter of Iowa, whether I ought not to go there and Elder Jones go, and leave some other places. I should have to go to Pennsylvania. Had I thought you would not have attended this meeting at all, I should have made calculations accordingly. Now I do not know what to do. I verily believe it was the work of the enemy that you have not been here all through this meeting. You might have waited here for news from Emma if she was worse and then matters might have shaped themselves so that you would have had the benefits of this meeting which I knew you needed. I am sorry, so sorry, but I must close. Signed, Mother.